Hi, in this lesson we'll create a cool calendar animation. Okay, so here is the final version of the project called Calendar Anim N. And let me run the animation macro before we get into any details of this project. So here we got three buttons, people, revenue, and technology. So when I click on any one of these buttons, you can see this is the beautiful calendar animation. Okay, so you can see the calendar animation, it will flip from the backward direction and it kind of gives a 3D feel to the animation, just like this. And also when I click on any one of these buttons, you can see some text will move from the bottom towards the upward direction. So let me click on revenue. You can see after the animation completes, these text will you know, move from the bottom towards the upward direction. So basically, this project is about setting off goals for different departments. You can see we got three departments here, people, revenue, and technology. So these are the goals to be achieved in the year FY 2016. So for uh, technology, you can see those goals to be achieved by year, I'm sorry, uh, by 30th of June, and these are the goals to be achieved. And for revenue, similarly, you know, it, sh it needs to be achieved by 31st of March, okay? So basically, this is about, you know, setting off goals for different service lines and with a timeline and a very cool feel to our project with the calendar animation. Okay, so this animation is driven by the 3D property of shapes. And we are rotating the shape with the y-axis of uh, the shape. So basically, it's just one line of code and we are looping it again and again to get this, you know, flipping animation feel to our project. Okay, so I'm going to show you in our next lesson how this is created. But for now, let's uh, review the assets in this project. So let's go to the selection pane. So let's get the selection pane. And as you can see, these are the assets in this project. So here we got three buttons, people, revenue, and technology. So we were, we're going to be driving the animation with these three buttons. You can see here people button, then the revenue, technology button. And then we got uh, three rectangles going around here and with some text. So these are the goals. So when I click on people, so those uh, text will move from the bottom towards the upward direction. And then we got the, uh, the calendar itself. You can see here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we got eight pages of calendars here with different dates, you know, different texts uh, over here. And they are, you know, stacked upon each other. So right now, 31st is visible because 31st is on top of all these. Based on what we uh, click here and based on what we set, we're going to see those uh, texts over here. And uh, we will get to this in our later chapters. Okay, so now we got the, uh, the pages here. Uh, and then we got, and let's see what else we got. And then we got this text box, you can see with the goals for e FY 2016. And then we got some, you know, uh, just the border lines here, you can see the, uh, the gray borders. And these are just there to bring focus to our project. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. And in our next lesson, I'm gonna show you, break it down a little bit on how I created the calendar here in Excel. And also we will get right into the coding to achieve the calendar effect animation. Okay, so see you in the next lesson.